Hey you guys, welcome to I Cook and Paint. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited about this video because this is going to be the premiere of a new series called I'm a Starving Artist. These recipes are going to be based on times of hardship, whether it was wartime or recession time. Because when you're a starving artist, sometimes you have to live that way. Not every day is a picnic when you're a painter. It isn't always the most lucrative business, so sometimes you have to resort to eating things like this meatless sausage to stay alive. Oh yeah! This recipe came about during World War II when food was rationed and it uses oatmeal as a substitute for the meat. And you won't believe how close to real sausage these patties taste. They're really flavorful, they have a nice, firm, meaty texture. Plus, I'm gonna tell you how you can make these vegan. Ready? I started off with a cup of rolled oats. You could either use the large flake or the quick, but I wouldn't use the instant kind. And right here I have a bunch of herbs and spices that you would typically find in sausage. So right here I have some poultry seasoning, and I'm using poultry seasoning because the original recipe called for sage, thyme, rosemary. These herbs are typically found in poultry seasoning, so I figured it'd be fine. Some fennel seeds, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and if you want a little bit of heat, you can add some crushed red chili flakes. So by the way, if you don't have poultry seasoning, the recipe on the blog will have the herbs that you substitute for it. Then I added a little freshly cracked black pepper. Feel free to add whatever herbs and spices you want to this recipe, but the three I wouldn't leave out are the sage, fennel seeds, or the paprika. Those are pretty important for this. Next, I'm going to add in two eggs, and if you happen to have three egg whites lying around, you could also use those. So then I just mixed these together until it was really well combined and it kind of resembled cookie dough. Oh, and I almost forgot parsley flakes. Oh my gosh, this was World War II. We can't forget the parsley flakes. All right, now before we start frying these, we have to make some sort of a stock and I'll show you why in a second. So bring two cups of water to a boil and now you want to add in a bouillon cube. And if you don't have a bouillon cube, you could also add a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce. Actually, I only use half a bouillon cube for this because I feel that's enough. Really, you could add anything else you wanted to this. Some peppercorns, parsley stems, a bay leaf, anything goes. So bring this to a boil and then just set it aside. All right, now you can start forming some patties, and I let this mixture sit for 30 minutes before doing this, but you don't have to do that. In fact, I don't really recommend it because I found that the oatmeal really absorbed a lot of the liquid and I got a little bit of a drier patty. So I would just form them right away. All right, now we're gonna fry these. So my heat's on medium, I'm heating up about three tablespoons of oil. You need a good amount for these to get brown. And you can just add them in one by one. And you only want to fry these for about one or two minutes on each side, just until they get a nice golden color on them, just like you see right here. Now we have to add our hot stock to this pan. And you know what happens when your pan is super hot and you decide to do that? Please be careful when you're doing this, guys. I thought I had lowered the heat before adding that stock in, but apparently I didn't. So make sure you lower the heat first. So cover it and lower the heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes. And here's what they're going to look like. They don't look much different. Now, if you're really hard pressed for cash, you could take that liquid and thicken it into a gravy and then pour it over these patties with some biscuits. But I decided to just pitch it for today. So then you just return the pan to the medium heat, you don't even have to wash it, add some more oil, and believe it or not, these get fried a second time. And again, only a minute or two on each side. This is just to bring back that crispness to the exterior that will give it the texture of a sausage patty. Once you brown them off on both sides for a second time, that's it! Your sausage patties of World War II are ready to serve. They go with pretty much everything, french fries, rice, mashed potatoes, and I can tell you it certainly smells like sausage, but what about the texture and the taste? When you tap on it, it has a firmness to it and a little bit of a crispness on the exterior as if it was fried, and when you cut into it, it has that resistance that a sausage patty would, or even a burger. I think you're going to be quite amazed at how realistic these taste. I guess it's the frying, simmering, and frying that does the trick. Now if you're vegan or you can't eat eggs for whatever reason, I have made these using 6 tablespoons of aquafaba in place of the 2 eggs. And it actually worked out really well. The only difference was they didn't have quite the same amount of resistance that these ones do, but they were pretty close. 
Now I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat these. I like making breakfast sandwiches out of them. So here I have a freshly baked sourdough biscuit. So I'm going to put one on here. And you know, you could crumble these over pizza. You could make spaghetti sauce out of them. Eat them with your eggs in the morning. All I can say is right now, this is my favorite way to eat them. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow will be different. Ooh, and that's it guys. Remember, you can get this complete printable recipe by clicking the link underneath this video. Please subscribe to I Cook and Paint, and don't forget to also hit the little bell. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, later.